This shop means everything to me. I've been coming here for years and I've been coming here for six something years. Muy bien, todo muy bien. Vamos a recomendarnos a todos los que ven el video. Que vengan aquí con estos muchachos. Aparte de que, pues, se les da la palabra de Dios. A que no se, no se sigan perdiendo. What do you, what do you think? Oh yes, we're going to come back. This yeah. is the best place to be. What you come here for? Dope design, what else? It's unreal. It's a bad boy haircut right here. Man. What's up, Ike? What's up, Wick? <laughs> How you doing this morning? How long you been coming here? I'm working on about five years, four years at least. Right, five. Yeah. Somewhere about that, four yeah. or five. What is it Bar about this shop, man, that, that you like? The atmosphere. And then you got a barber who ain't really just trying to cut hair and get it out the door to make money. You got somebody that loves doing what they do. How long you been coming here? Um, for, about, uh, for about three years now. I can say out of every barber that I've been to all across this world, all across the globe, man, Rick took care of me, man. He, he know what he's doing without me telling him. You know, I just sit down and I just let him do his job and he just do his thing and handle his business. Word up. What's, how long have you been coming here? Three years. Three years. What do you like about this place? Um, everything. So, um, how long have you been coming here? Ooh, man, you've been cutting my hair for... Almost, what, 15, 16 years now. So, followed you from Indianapolis all the way out to Vegas. Uh, you got my hair in Vegas now for two and a half years. And uh, so, it's been a while, it's been a minute. Yeah, what do you like best about this shop? You know, when I first started coming to you, it was kind of like, um, 
it was always a just felt like you know part of the family or whatever you come in and you know everybody everybody knew everybody everybody got along everybody you know it was always you know people arguing about sports or whatever it is but you know just it had that that true barbershop feel to it. That's why I've always come. I mean, on top of that, I mean, you know, you cut the hair the you know, the right way. That, that always helps. <laughs> what we got here, man? This one, dog. Got here, man. Got chicken, man. You know what I'm saying? Crowd please chicken early, <laughs> 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Well, we got that fresh hot chicken. Mmm, real hot. How is it? It's good. It's good. And the chicken, the haircut, eating chicken, man. That don't happen nowhere else, man. It only happens here. Lips are greasy and shiny, man. Is that sanitary, man? Nah, it's not. I'm trying to keep my hands on. Came out for the uh, cigar convention, the big smoke. Uh, figured we'd come by and get another haircut. Came out here last year. Ran in the rig, got a haircut, man. I'm telling you, it's the best haircut you'll ever see. You'll ever get, I guarantee it. Best one in Put Vegas. money on it. Put best one in Vegas, yeah, Nevada. I was in the West Coast. You know, what do you guys like about the shop? Oh man, it's, this is a real shop. We come in here, we talk everything. Women, politics, sports, you name it. Yeah. Nothing's off limits. <laughs> so watch yourself. <laughs> and all opinions are respected. I mean, I like it, but we respect everybody's opinion up in there. All right. All right, man, I'll see you guys next year. Yes, oh, please. Sure, man. Oh, definitely next year. And then we get back in about a couple more months, you'll see us again, too. All right. <laughs> All right.